Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm running the street, and the other day I got a new graphics card for my Mac Pro, and you're about to see me install it. Alright, the camera just stopped working. I'm hoping that it saved the video up to this point. It probably did not. So that sucks. But as you can see, this is the Mac Pro. It's open. Pay no attention to the missing hard drive bay. Please pay no attention to it. So I'm going to take the um, graphics card out. I'm doing the thumb screw for it right now. Wow, that's a difficult thumb screw. All right, let me get a screwdriver. That is technically a thumb screw, but it's awfully tight in there. All right. Excuse the noise once again. Yeah, for such a well-designed device, this is awfully difficult. Like I said, the Mac Pro is like a solid block of aluminum. It's difficult to move anything around in it. All right, well, the top thumb screw is easy to get out. There we go. Just had to get it started with the screwdriver. All right, so that's out. So now we can take away any of the cards we want to. So here we will take out the NVIDIA card that came with this Mac Pro. I think that there's a plastic latch behind this. Um, I don't have a flashlight to check. Ah, there it is. I feel it now. Yep. Okay, yeah. For such a, uh, for a Mac, this is not very well designed. Let me try and get some of this dust out. Um, the, the tab that you have to push down to take the PCI card out is super thin and it's hurting my finger. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Oh, you have to pull it up. You don't push it down, you pull it up. All right, see this tab here, everyone? That is a push down tab, not a pull up tab. So here's the old NVIDIA card, NVIDIA GeForce 2 or whatever it is. I'll put it on the screen. So yeah, that's super dusty. I'll set it off to the side, hoping that this new card works. Hoping I won't ever have to deal with that older card again. So just to show everyone a side-by-side -side old card, new card. This is the new one. Like I said, it is an ATI Radeon, something that I'll put on the screen once again. Much longer. Um. I am going to put this thing in here. Okay, here's what I'm trying to figure out right now. This graphics card requires two of these plugs, these power plugs, to plug in to the motherboard. I'm trying to figure out where those are going to plug in to. Ah, way back there. All right, I, I for a moment, I was worried that there's not one in there, but right, I turned the camera light on so that hopefully you can see what's going on in here a little bit better. Um, so way back here are the two plugs that these will need to plug into. So first, let's just plug in the card itself. This thing looks friggin' awesome. Um, yeah. You can see power, uh, not power, heat sinks in there, and it's all in a nice plastic case. Um, PC graphics cards, like I said earlier, always have a brand like Zotac or Asus on them. Uh, Mac cards are name brand. This is just ATI Radeon. Premium graphics. Premium graphics. It is a desktop class card, not a workstation class card, so it's Radeon and not Fire Pro. But, um, still freaking awesome. I just realized I need to take this slot out here, because this is a double wide card. Alright. You can see right in there is where the graphics chip itself is. So that's neat. All right. Fingers crossed. Hoping that all goes well here. Attempting to plug in. Sounded painful. Awesome. All right, there. There you go, camera. So, trying once again to plug the graphics card in. It's kind of difficult to see 
man, for a Mac, this is difficult. Okay, that took a few minutes, but um, I got it. Just so you all know, when you're putting these in, you need to kind of push that way, because the tendency will be to have it too far this way. And I could not see the pins over this thing, but I put the thinner one back in, and I could actually see the pins while I was putting it in, so I figured that out. So next, like I said, we need to put these power cables in. And I think that the, the thicker side actually goes into the graphics card. The thinner side is going to go into the motherboard. So we'll do the first one first, and then we'll do the second one second. So here's the first one. It plugs in. I know you probably can hardly see anything. There we go. It's in. And then the other side goes into... Um, I'll show you after it's plugged in. Man, yeah, the Mac Pro is absolutely a beast, but it sucks to work with. They really could have designed the inside of this better. As easy as it looks to pop things in and out, it's really not. And there's no way you can get light in here. Can we take this thing out? Does this fan part come out? No? Awesome. Alright, I think I got that in. Yep, as the flashlight as the flashlight confirms, wow. As the flashlight confirms, that cable there is plugged in. You can't even see it on my hands in here. See, it's too cramped in this thing. They need to make bigger towers. But yeah, that is plugged in right there. So, now to plug the other one in. All right, that only took forever and a day to finish. Finally got those plugged in. All right, so I put the side thing back on. Now the side panel is back on. All right, done plugging everything in. And yeah, you can see there the new graphics card in the back. All right, let's turn this thing on. Whoa. Can definitely hear the fan. I heard a bong. It's working, it's doing something. Screen is turning on. We even have an Apple logo. All right. So that means that it's not just any old graphics card. It's a Mac-supported graphics card. And hopefully... Hopefully we get a login screen here. Not getting any uh, video. Obviously. Whoa. Mouse is on. We got an Apple screen, but no video. All right, everyone. I figured out the issue. It was trying to use the wrong screen resolution. So what I did was I, I reset the NVRAM, uh, which there's a, an Apple page on how to do that. Um, I had to hold down Command, Option, P, and R, which was Windows key, Alt, P, and R. That reset the, the uh, NVRAM, and then I booted into... Safe mode. Now, just booting into safe mode did not work before resetting the NVRAM. It was also broken, but after resetting the NVRAM, I booted into safe mode, trying to figure out which is the highest resolution. All right, that one doesn't work. Apparently, 1020, um, no, 1280 by 1024 is too big for this monitor, so I'm going to try 1024 by 768, see if that works. Actually, I'm going to try... One more 1280 by 1024 first. 60 hertz. Does 60 hertz work? Yeah! Alright. Confirm. So 1280 by 1024 at 60 hertz. That is now our screen resolution. So now we can shut down. Uh, actually, let's restart. Restart back into regular mode. So yeah, I was actually seriously concerned there. I thought I thought that the graphics card was shot or something. But yeah, I had to first reset the NVRAM, uh, which is sometimes called PRAM. That's what it was called in older Macs, I think, in PowerPC Macs. But yeah, I reset the NVRAM, then booted into safe mode, and manually set the screen resolution. And I probably had to do that because I'm using those DVI to VGA adapters. As you can hear, the bong is way louder now because the NVRAM stores not only your screen resolution, but it also stores, like, your volume settings and everything. So, yeah, I am so relieved. I, uh, 
I don't think I've ever had to return a computer thing that I got over the internet for being broken before. Um, and I was worried that I would have to, but I did not. So my luck continues. There we are. All right. And we are logged in. All right. Let's go to About This Mac. About This Mac. Uh, more info. Mm, displays. ATI Radeon. Uh, HD 4870. This is a one gigabyte graphics card. So that is great. Um, let's go to System Profiler and scroll down to, I don't know, Graphics and Displays. Yep. ATI Radeon HD 4870. A gig of VRAM. All right. Absolutely great. Absolutely great. So yeah, uh, once again, I got that from Apple Mechanics. I'll let you guys know in the description if I have any further issues with this card. But for now, I'm ready to go. I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm on the street, and I will see you guys later. See ya.